John, excuse me, uh, Congressman Ryan, uh, Paul Ryan is speaking to speakers uh, on live now at the White House. Listen. Step in and prevent Obamacare from getting worse, from collapsing, and we will replace it with a law that's better, that's more durable, that, that lowers costs, improves access to more affordable plans, but more importantly, we're not going to sit in the government and force people to buy something they don't want to buy. We're going to give people choice and freedom, and that's what a patient-centered health care system does, and that is one of the reasons why we must repeal and replace Obamacare, and that is top of our list this, this spring. Can you ensure that they won't Maybe even more company? important than what the insurance companies think is what Bill Clinton called it. During the election last year, Bill Clinton said Obamacare was the craziest thing he'd ever seen. Eight out of ten Americans wanted either entirely replaced or dramatically changed. The status quo is not an option, and what we'll be doing is not the status quo. Jonathan. Jonathan. Uh, Dude, stop yelling. Um, Jonathan. Uh, Daryl Ice, as you know, has called for an independent prosecutor to investigate uh, the, uh, the issue of Russian interference in the campaign. Do you think at the very least does the attorney general need to recuse himself uh, from decisions on this, and should there be a special prosecutor? I can't speak to that part of it with the attorney general, but the proper place, in my opinion, is the intelligence committees because they're the ones who have access to methods of, of intelligence gathering. This is sensitive information that in, it involves how we collect intelligence. That is why we have an intelligence committee that goes through the clearance process, that gets access to that information, which is conducting an investigation. Both of our intelligence committees have been investigating all of these issues, and that's the proper place for that investigation. Do you have a with the White House reaching out to the chairs of the intelligence committees and having them knock down stories on this? The White House sh should be talking with our members on a daily basis, and our intelligence committees I have been looking at this. Remember, uh, the DNI under the Obama administration did a a, a, a government-wide search on what happened with the Russians' involvement. We know that Russia meddled in the election. No one is disputing that. And this last government gave us that information in the first place. No one is alleging that some American was in on it beforehand. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. The top line budget numbers just, so just heard the you want budget numbers. We just heard the budget numbers this afternoon. Um, the new OMB director, who is a former member of the House Budget Committee, just gave us the numbers today. We just processed them. We haven't even processed them yet. As you know, with a new president coming in, you get top lines and then you get the budget later on. This is exactly how the system is supposed to work. We're very excited that they are actually giving us these numbers this early in the process so we can move forward with processing our budgets. Mr. Speaker, your guy knows budgets pretty well. Mr. Speaker. Speaker Ryan. Time to go. Oh, Mr. Speaker, you're a guy that knows budgets. Listen, you've talked about the need for entitlement reform in the past. The president has made clear he doesn't want to touch these entitlements. Are you comfortable with a budget that doesn't do that? Repealing and replacing Obamacare is fundamental entitlement reform. Thank you. Discuss the border and justice action. Yes. Yes. An opportunity with this president for bipartisan relationship with Ed Gridlock for so long. Yeah, yeah, I think so. We haven't seen much out in the Senate yet. But I'm hopeful the fever is about to break. Uh, we'll uh, confirm the Secretary of Commerce today with a bipartisan vote. And I hope we'll begin to move in the direction of getting back to some semblance of, uh, of normalcy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mitch McConnell, Paul Ryan there speaking after a meeting with the President alive at the White House. John Roberts is there.